Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night to a great dear friends and lovers of freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. My name remains Marzi Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra London. We are here live and direct. Today is the 27th day of January 2024. Tata Bobo the awaited time, the awaited date has come. A day that is dedicated by I mean, to the broadcast of our GOC, Mazichina Sanwaru. Therefore, without taking any much time, I will bring in Mazichina Sanwaru, our G the GOC of the indigenous people of Biafra, onto this hallowed platform to so start up by introductions in this interactive session. Ma Azichina Samur, can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Yes. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm coming out clear. Coming out, you are coming out crystal clear. Please go on. Okay. Dear friends and all the lovers of freedom. My name is Mazi China Samuru. Mazi China Samuru served the indigenous as a member of the Directorate of State, Mazichina Samuru comes from Aba province. I come from Obimwa, and Obimwa is in Aba province. Today is the first time I'm coming on air in this year, 2024. It is not that it's intentional. I will not tell you it's not intentional. It is intentional. It is intentional also why the HOD has not come or the address on the 1st of January, which many people expected that the HOD would have come to address the people on a national, on the, on the New Year Day. It is intentional. The leadership decided not to go the normal routine based on what and the kind of job the leadership was carrying out. It is not um, uh, that we didn't know that it was 1st January. We didn't have much to come to tell. It's not that we don't have, but we think it was not necessary because for days, platform. Sometimes you have to Mars, are you still there? Biafra. Yeah, Mars, I'm here. It yeah, seems like the network a little season. bit uh, yes. connection. Yes, please. It's okay now? Yes, yes, it's okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because the restoration of Biafra for some people, it looks like it all happens on the social media. And I want every one of you today to reflect, recall back, think how many leaders, how many world leaders are always on the social media ranting on things they want to do or things they don't want to do. I have not seen none talk less of a movement like IPOB movement. Today, we are going to spend a lot of time on this platform because as we have delayed coming on air, there are a lot of issues that is going to be addressed this evening. And those issues are very critical to the soul of this movement. Those issues are very important if we want this struggle to proceed from now onward. Whatever we are educating our people today will help our people. Yes, some people might have made mistakes. Some people might have gone the wrong way out of ignorance. Some people might have taken the opportunity that is given to them on this platform, try to derail people. 
some people might have used this platform as an avenue to make money and they are not ready to retrieve their steps today on this platform i am going to make certain things very clear and straightforward our life many people have died in this struggle and many people are languishing in the detention because of this struggle many people died also out of ignorance many people died believing in what we are doing many people have taken bullets for this struggle and i said all those who have in one way or the other fallen for this struggle may they also rest in peace but we must continue to forge ahead because we are getting to our destination it is unfortunate how gullible our people have presented themselves that they can be easily deceived they can be easily carried away with false hope and false promises it is unfortunate and i want everybody who will be listening this evening i want you to open your ears if you want us to march forward if you want us to restore Biafra, if you want us to make all these dreams and the hopes and aspirations to come into actualization, there is a need in changing our strategy, in changing of our mindset, in coming out fully to support because we are at the verge to get our independence. I know for years, some of our people love words that, you know, gives them butterflies in their stomach and they go back home and sleep. But one thing many of you will agree with me with this leadership, we are realistic in anything we are doing. We want people to face the reality. That is the only way we can solve our problems. That is the only way we can achieve Biafra. We are not going to achieve Biafra through black men, through propaganda. There might be black men, propaganda might be a tool while you are walking along the line. But it is not the main ingredient you need when you're fighting for freedom. Because the mindset of our people is that, oh, propaganda is a tool for war. It's just like the Bible, when they said, give for it shall be given unto you, or tight. In the, so people, some people go there and pick up that one that is easy, that makes them very comfortable. They use it and continue to push. Some will tell you, they said you should not worship God with English jitter, and some will hook up. That is what has happened in many, you know, religious domination just like as it also come to this struggle biafra freedom biafra is a religion and many people do not understand it from the perspective sometimes even if we come here to talk about what biafra represents some people still misinterpret whatever we are teaching here on this platform before i will go further I will always clarify this particular point because I know many people have gone astray when Mazen Nandekalo preached this on this platform and the just few moments ago I have just repeated it that Biafra is a religion when we say Biafra is a religion does not mean you have to go and open a church called Biafra when we say Biafra is a religion, it does not go and open a church called Biafra. When we say Biafra is a religion, it does not. There are many things we cannot, even when we found out, we can never say them. Reasons, it is not good for the struggle. 
which is not going to affect the struggle positively. And it all started the moment the rendition mass in Namdekano. You know, that is why it is very good when you are doing things, especially with evil people, you need to be very careful. You need to be very, very careful. Do not allow yourself to be carried away. Every moment of your life. So that if something happened to you, people can point, say, this is where it started. It's not good to have multiple fronts where your problem comes from. It is not good. Yes, mistake might have been made by those that surrounded Mazen Namdekano, especially family members, siblings, and some lawyers surrounded him. And the people he used privately on certain things which the leadership do not know and have no information about. The continuous detention of Mazen Namdekano supersedes all this court proceedings, I can tell every one of you, it supersedes it. It is far, far, all this thing they are doing is going round and round and round, and of recent, you hear what you read come at all, they would have assassinated him, and uh, through the book they wrote, they would have done this, they would have done that. No, they could not have assassinated him because they know the consequences will be more far than what they are looking for. You know, they say man proposes, God disposes. Many of us know the length we went. Physically, spiritually, and otherwise. To make sure that Mazen Nandekano have his life. So that many things will have to reveal as time goes on. Hands are holding Mazen Nandekano. And the hands that are holding Mazen and the Karno is the hands of our people. The IPOB leadership has undertook, you know, some diplomatic moves around Africa, beyond Africa, and far beyond. We do get response. We get response. There are things they will inform the diplomatic mission. But those things they are saying are not final because we will make the decision. That's why I say they propose, God will dispose. I used to say it here, I but one day I cannot come as in the canon, by fire or by force. I want to make from today, today, every Biafran, I want us to be very, very careful. Whatever we are talking, whether you are blackmailing somebody, whether you are saying something you are not sure, please, I want everyone to be very, very careful. And that carefulness must start this night. If you are an IPOB media warrior, I want you to be strategic in when you are saying anything to the public. Reasons are the way it is in our hearts. You can lead, it can lead to killing of an innocent person who has nothing to do with what happened to Mazen Landekano. That's what I'm saying very clearly. I will make it very clear that our people are not our enemies. I don't mean that everybody is our friend. Many political class in Biafra land, they are not the enemies of our people. But because of the perception people have, you know, the leaders, they told them to do things, we took the anger of those performing, those that are not doing anything, you classify every one of them, you put them in one box and say, kill them, crucify them, do this. There is no Biafra, nobody that don't want Biafra to come. There is nobody. 
I can tell you 90% of our people want Biafra to come. And the many of our people have also supported this struggle, knowingly to you or not knowingly to you. You don't need to know. And we have come to find out. We have come to find out. And it is wrong that they support the struggle and on the other hand, somebody is blackmailing them to put them even on the point they are about to lose their own lives. It is very wrong. And this leadership will not want such thing to continue. Because it has happened to us. People have blackmailed us to the point our families are all in hiding. Cousins, brothers, nobody. People, it is black men. And the people continue to blackmail you. On the other hand, they are dining with the people. They are blackmailing your name with. Everybody knew that the siblings of Mazen and the Kano are patrolling most of you don't know that five boy as of today goes with personal escort six escorts when he stops somewhere they open door for him they salute him they call him Muhammad Dike. five boy the younger brother of Mazen Namdekano these are people ripping off with the sweat and the blood of our people these are the people these are the people that goes and the, every one of you was aware that Mazen Nandekano comes on Radio Biafra, he talk about what Gowan did to us. And all of us have studied and know what Gowan did to us. And if they tell you that people like that can go to Gowan, that is why you remember last time I said that Gowan should not come to other states for prayers. The siblings of Madden and the can make press release and say that no one should come. Go, 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 go. You don't understand what is going on. The continuous detention of Madden and the can surround with the dirty politics. The family, the siblings of Madden and the can are playing on this struggle. Your stand is not their stand. For them, the Biafra struggle is a financial enterprise. It is a business enterprise. I feel ashamed of myself when we talk about the Afra to big people. They told us if it is this one, these people took money, took money, took money, that they don't want it. How? They now understood that, oh, Man, the Kano and his siblings do not have the same ideology with this Biafra struggle these people are talking about. Uh, is this what is happening? The siblings of Onyendu goes around, even beyond the borders of Biafra land, making money from the IPOD struggle. Making money from the IPOB struggle. Most of the people they took money from, they are also saying it they have. Let me give you an example. There is the Commissioner for Security for Hode for Mahi. They call him Stanley Okoro. All the money he gave to Pine Boy, it is all recorded. All the money he gave to Wisdom when he was in a body, it was all recorded. Why I'm saying this thing is that it makes us look so stupid. You people saw Okezi Ipazo. If we talk good of Okezi Ipazo, then we come back to you. see his brother and the wife. They are patrolling, they are patrolling the government house on my they, they, You understand me? Why some of us have made enemy for something we do not know? You are projecting the Afra they are projecting their course. And this night, we want, I want to draw a line for Biafrans to understand. These hands holding Mazen Landekano have sworn that Mazen Landekano will be jailed. 
I'm saying it that tomorrow nobody will come on social media and shout my name. I am also a lawyer, Jim Michael, who is the lawyer, and all the lawyers remaining. All of them are pushing court, court, court. They are pushing Mazen Namde Kanu to jail. They are lifting him to jail with these court processes. They are moving around with. They know they're here. I'm talking to here. They are blinded by the money they have because they love their lives. They move around their life. They use our names and also take money. They use our names to take money from politicians. You know why I'm not going to call the name of politicians? Because the person you are calling his name may be supporting the struggle with his heart. They want Biafra to come. If you call his name, that means you are asking the Nigerian government to go. And when he is supporting you, he's hoping he's supporting the Biafra struggle. He don't know he's putting it in the pocket of those who take the money to go to get women and they buy cars and they get escort and move. And when they see those things, they are angry. They are angry at every one of us that all of us are con masters. They look the way they look at the siblings of Onyendu is the way they are looking at us. Somebody was telling me that they said the money they are collecting from them that Tina Samoru is richer ten times than Ethan Yoba. All the money collect from politicians, it is Tina Samoru. Can you imagine some money they collect, they say it is for these people. They collect, they say it's for it is what is holding Mazen and the Kano in the hands of Nigerian government. There is a big black man on Mazen and the Kano. If the way they are going, they are sending Mazen and the Kano to prison because the family, the siblings have surrendered him with lies. They use his name and commit many rubbish. And today, he is trapped. They knew that Mazen and the Kano was in Kenya. They knew some of them were traveling from Nigeria, meeting Mazen and the Kano in Kenya. They keep it secret. Kano knew that they were holding Mazen and the Kano. He was discussing. They were discussing about money. To bring money, maybe they will leave him. Either they transact the money or not. Until they, they, they control him and they bring him. At the end of the day, who are bearing the consequences of all these things? It is the IPOD leadership. We cannot even know, even as we are talking, ask yourself, that person you are calling his name, the siblings of owning you are getting money from them on a monthly basis. But you are on social media attacking them, calling them names. I could remember, I am the PR. I once, me and the Madugu once confronted, we have a conversation with Fiber. We were telling him about something. There is some word he used for us. He said, he told me and the Madugu, he said, That's what he told me. At least I have somebody who is still alive. Madugu is there. I told him, this guy thought we are fools. Their activities have blackmailed Mazen and the Kano to a standstill. I am asking every one of you, if I am lying, use your personal contact. Make your contact and ask some people you know. These people are the hands holding Mazen and the Kano. They caught. You are going to court, you are doing this thing. They are pushing Mazen and the Kano to jail so that when they jail him they will ask Mazen Nam the Kano now do you want to come out? he say yes do you want to come out? he say yes they told him you will denounce the Biafra struggle if you don't denounce the Biafra struggle you are not don't think that the Nigerian government is giving Mazen Nam the Kano the chance they are talking about Bell they are deceiving themselves because they have already told people that the chance they gave them in 2017 when they release him and he move around talking that it is not going to happen again they have already made it clear we have gotten and the, for some of you emotions oh tinibu is not like buhari 
he will take follow the court of law. He will do this thing. Rubbish. Tinubu do not care. After all, he will tell you he's not the one that arrested him and the car. He will tell you that the court should take. He knows hope was on them. They have positioned the judges. They have kept the money. Those as they are going back to that at high court that we sentence Martin Nandekano and they tell you go and appeal. Let me tell you people what they want to do so that every, when it's happening, it happens. This is a high level intelligent report, and I'm saying it here so that everybody know when they play in your brain, you open your mind. They said. Push him to sign that he will never do agitation again so that when he goes out there, he has trained some radicals who will kill him if he come out and say, no more Biafra. That's the simple fact. Nigeria don't want to use their hand to harm Mazen Nandekano. They want to play a game, a circle, where Mazen Nandekano will come out in the public. He can no more work in the public. Because you now know that he has abandoned the struggle. He, many people have died for the struggle. He cannot come out and they walk and say, let us... Many of you don't know why Ojuku, why they allow Ojuku to return back. Maybe it's in the public domain. Many people know. When Ojuku wants to return back to Nigeria during the Shemu Shagari regime, because I think I am right, it was during the Shemu Shagari regime of course, you that are, he was given pardon you are, you are, to return right. back. You are right. You are right. Huh? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thank you. One of the conditions given to him was he's not just coming back from asylum. One of the conditions given to him was when you come back we are going to pardon you but with conditions when you enter back you are going to join the nigerian politics we are not going to allow you to stay so that you won't be mobilizing people on the ground so you must come out in open and join the nigerian politics join a party or form a party do you understand me that is the only thing that we will accept that is why ojuku came out joined party contested for a senate seat inside their compound they defeated him inside their compound inside their compound they defeated him he could not get they rubbish him politically when they hold um uh, before they leave him he signed for them he will not. He come out, he now make a lie with the Shetima, make all these things. He start getting a location for all those things. He told them, I'll make the Afra, but not tell me, don't talk about it. So that our people will not pursue him to kill. Allow me once in a while, I make a ceremony for the Biafra to tell them to keep the hope alive. But I am not pursuing it further. But Mazen and the Kano, on they know he has trained radicals. He, they know he have gotten some some people a hardliners so their target is let him say i will drop the agitation then he comes outside they have put enough of division among our people criminals have faced everywhere so the man because they said oh you come out you have betrayed the afra those who will look for his head and when it happened to the international community they said you see it is their, his own people that harmed him, not Nigerian government. We are wiser. Now, the, we know the steps. The, because they said, you remember, that time they will play for you on the radio Biafra. We are Mazen Nam, the Kano said, if I betray the struggle, the next person in my back should cut off my head. Mazen do is that not what he said? Of course. Is that not on radio? Of course, and I used that to even time, repeat it. <laughs> That time, that time, that is the audio message that will be circulating everywhere. If I mess up, if I betray the struggle, cut off my head. The next person should cut off my head and go. That, that audio message has been prepared. It kept one place. So many of you will not have anything. It will be a media war. Yes, Mazen, 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 Mazen,
Every one of us must understand the high level game. You are playing with a state actor. You are dealing with. You are playing with Nigerian government. For Christ's sake. Why are we dealing with them with just our feelings, emotions? Why are we not facing reality? Where is your strategy? What are you bringing to the, what tactics are you bringing? Oh, I put on a social media now. Don't, 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 Especially some people like that name. Who was doing that name? I'm sure they have named one of their daughters or sons. They cannot sleep without mentioning the name of China Sanwuru because I'm telling you where the Nigerian government is going. I can tell you from my calculations, from what we have heard from some diplomats, what from other countries. It's not anybody tell you I spoke to Tinubu, Tinubu is it's a lie. Tinubu is no more talking. Oh, he has become deaf and dumb. Have you seen him talking anywhere again? We will tell them, let the court. Do remember what he used the court and they put himself inside. Use the court, put hope or they might use the court to remove people he wants. You think he's going to do differently? He will tell the court to do what they want to do. And at the end of the day, they said, the only reason to grant you an amnesty, that's why even the Supreme Court, all these things are coming. I saw one publication, you know, these people are, they, what they are putting there is making us look like stupid people. And the world will say these people don't know what they are doing. For example, I saw one article a lawyer, Jimako, wrote one time. He was telling Tinubu to release him and the canoe because that the Ojuku release a wolo. What a crap. Who listened to those bullshit? It's showing that you have given up, you don't know what to do. The release a wolo. Also reciprocate by releasing Mazen and the canoe. You are not a serious for Christ's sake. Show, show love to Ndibo. Show that you love Ndibo by releasing. Show love to Ndibo releasing Nam the Kano. Some people are buying those crafts because some of them want media attention. With the media attention on the year, it paves way for them to go to the asking money. These guys are using court to destroy the case of Martin Nam the Kano. Let me tell people, there is never a way the family, the siblings of Mazen Namdekano will win any institution in the case for Mazen Namdekano. It will never happen. When it comes to UK, when we talk, the, you know sometimes, 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 with the leadership have fought to put things together. They, they, everybody just, they use blackmail to. Tell me how the siblings of Mazen Nandekan will petition United Kingdom government and win the case. Tell me. As an individual. The brother has the one. As an individual, they don't give chance for IPOB to even make a case. If you do this, side, they come. You do this, side, they come. Imagine on 23rd, and the calendar, his brother, I am aware that only you told them, stop the Supreme Court, they are going. But when they fell in that court, they will ashamed. Stop using legal. What we are fighting is beyond these things. When you go to all this legal at this early stage, they finish you. You are closing every avenue for the freedom of mass and land. This case is IPOD, like the one in Kenya. When we step in the one in Kenya, they don't want anybody. Go, 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 go. They stop fight. Nobody. Go, go, go. Only them. Where is the Kenya case ended today? Where is the Kenya case? Everything drawn. They pay BBC that time. BBC talk about it with the lawyer. Everything gone. In UK, they went to Supreme Court. You see them again. They wear suits again. Go stand in Supreme Court. They give judgment. 
I, I will post it after the listening. The UK Supreme Court said that their case is rubbish. It is not, it has no basis. This is how they are rubbishing the case of Mazen Mandekano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra. Today, I agree. Biafra, everybody right today is 27th of January. The leadership is determined to do anything they will do with strategically how we have been do our research, conduct our plans, which we are not making it anybody but next. You see the people pushing to court. Court. Atu wakala no onye ndu ngao. Kamuwa kuni ya na. Onye ndu is going to prison with the rubbish, this, with the rubbish and the corner of that place. These people are planning, chapel. Now we are talking it. My camera got you. Let me tell you people something that happened. You see the signal a day before the morning of the court, the morning of this court on 15 December. We are asking what are we expecting in the court on 15 December. We were told that they said that we have tried our best. If we go to anything, they say it is the wish of God. I am saying it on radio Biafra because more Geru, people will want to divert attention. I am shouting it now. We stop all this rubbish court, court case, do this thing. Very strategic. problem. Don't allow Nigeria to unite against Biafra. If we can be Yoruba unite, yeah, with Fulani, they are already on a on a on a long head now. The game is on. The game is on. I want to make something. You people are not connecting what is happening in Nigeria. The French is here. The French, they are in Nigeria. The western part of Nigeria now is a pro-France. If you don't know, go it today. Every one of you will agree with me that Tinubu, Tinubu, even before the Supreme Court agreed that he is the winner, he was already made the ECOWAS chairman. Every one of you know that. Who took him to France? Because Tinubu, in one way, has shown his back to the British and to the Americans. It was the Guinea-Bissau president. Most of you remember that Tinubu was having a diplomatic passport from Guinea-Bissau. I think, am I right, man? The Guinea-Bissau of Gambia. It was Guinea-Bissau. He was having a diplomatic passport, which goes against his presidential decision that the Supreme Court later. It was this Guinea-Bissau president, Omar Osiso and Balo. He was the one that handed Tinubu over to the French. He told him, come here. Because as France have lost in the Sahel region, they have lost in the Sahel region. And when they were leaving, they left Niger. First Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger. Then we know that uh, Guinea, Kouakri is more focused in America. We see the president going here. They saw they are losing here. France stepped into Nigeria, knowing quite well that the British and the Americans deceived them in the Nigeria Republic. If we strategically want this now, at the end of this fight, France will be like Bangladesh. I don't know many of you know the money France have lost from Air France since after the, the, the since they kicked them out from the Sahel region. France used to make up to 500 million billion dollars from the French airline. French airline will go bankrupt soon. And in Stilubu, they will use to, to see how the Nigerian market will switch to that angle. Quietly, the whole and all the northern states in Nigeria, they ran to Mali, to tell them we support you, nobody will launch attack from the northern part of Nigeria, all these things. Why I'm saying these things is for us to connect the Nigerian and geopolitical things that are happening that will lead and facilitate the release of Mazen and the Karo. 
not the court you are going because if they sentence you in the prison, it is another different case. Which IPOB will not allow that to happen. If Nigeria, you know that Nigerian judges are cash and carry judges. You know that the Nigerian judges can sell anybody anytime they sell judgment. If you want to be a governor, go and buy Nigerian judges. You just go and bring to your poster. At the end of the day, come to the Supreme Court, they give you governorship. If you want any judgment in Nigeria, take your money, go and look. Almost all the judges, many of them are corrupt. That is the, that is the face of Nigerian judiciary. What do you think? If these people can spend money, many some evil politicians can spend money to go to Peru, um, uh, bring my agenda and they can extraordinary rendition him. Is it the money to pay the judges they don't have? Is that what you're telling me? When they sentence him, they tell you go and make appeal. You go to appeal, they tell you the judgment remains. You go to Supreme Court, they tell you the judgment remains. They say what next? They say go and beg for amnesty. <laughs> Why things are happening in your environment, you are not seeing it. They put on a social media in our corner, ta 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 ta. Because you don't know what to talk. If you don't know what to say on social media, they put on social media topics you know nothing about, little about, in our theory or not. They not. Let me tell you people something that is about to happen. I am not a prophet, but I'm telling you what is about to happen. Don't call me a prophet because on our power prophet, or what one say an ambush prophet. Don't call me a prophet. This is just a simple connecting the dots and following events happening in the region. France is very bitter with the British and the Americans. They will not show it to you, but they will teach them a lesson in Nigeria. ISIS, who import them and drop in the Sahel region, is France, Algeria, Mauritania, all these places. Who? They are the one. France are lifting their terrorists into Nigeria. In the coming months, you will witness unprecedented attack in the north. The French will punish the northern part of Nigeria for being an obstacle for them not to get, continue to get their interest in Niger. Chad is gone. You saw the Chad prime minister in Russia is gone. Putin has bring in Russian soldiers in Burkina Faso. He didn't bring, it's not Wagner. It's not Wagner. So that people will say Wagner. No, 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 no. Russian soldiers. Everybody eye is on the Gulf of Guinea. And that is where everything is heading to. Who is granting you Ben? Okay? We will never do that until they sentence him. That is all their plan. That is the plan of the Nigerian government. They have concluded to sentence him. That's why the case was returned back to the High Court. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. I'm telling you what they want to do. Urucho, rise up. I'm using this medium this evening, calling every Biafra. There are people who say they huh? There are people who say they were black men. Why they were supporting this struggle? There were people who swear that upon the support they have supported this struggle, that they were black men. This is a time because it's a time you leave your anger one side. The leadership here is ready to amend fences to make sure that Mazen and the Kano is released. The leadership is here to put things together to make sure as this storm, tsunami coming from the north, that our land will be protected. Yes, there must be a pit fully to make sure they protect the Afra land. It is bigger than what you people are seeing. That is why I talk about for us to be careful of things. Where, okay, if you are shouting, America or Israel, if any country wants to help you, he will sit one side. No, these people are calling America and Israel now. No need to go there. That is who they are supporting them. They don't know truly they are supporting you or they are not supporting you. How would they know? When every social media you are flying their flag, you are doing underground, there is no support. 
no interest. Come who only gave you flag, Mama. Only the Afra flag. Until anybody show interest to support this struggle, then we will know how to handle it. You are assaulting those countries, preventing others who are thinking that already we have support. They say, oh, they are something in Israel now, they have support. They are something in Israel, they have support. Do, have you asked a question? Your lead, our leader is the way he have channeled all these things with Israel or this thing. How would Israel and Kenya is in a very good community? They are very good allies. And the all for all places, it is in Kenya. Of Where course, the Israeli Mas, have you are completely right. Africa, Even they have big African Jewish pre presence. Okay. Yes, you are right. Mas, you are right. You are right. Oh, but Israel and the Kenya have very good relationship with the British. Upon oh, anywhere they will touch Mazen and the Kano, it is in Kenya. Where Israel have the headquarters of Israel. And you know that Kenya is a member of the African and um, United Nations Security Council. They hold the seat. That is where the whole intelligence, foreign intelligence gathers in Africa, in East Africa. And the Kenya and Israel was there. Israel had their synagogue in Kenya. That is where the whole operation carried out. Ununete kwe chiche umibo. Ununete kwe chiche. Why I am saying this is so that problem will not come in the front line. Somebody walk to us and say, American soldier, Ask them question. What are they doing for Mazen and the Kano? They know. They got clearance from them. Because the world knows that Mazen and the Kano was having relation with Israel. He have connections, he go there, they took permission, they get clearance from them before they lifted him and bring him to Nigeria. The hands holding our leader is the, the same hand holding that held Nelson Mandela. It is bigger than what people are thinking. And they want it to end. They want Martin and the Colonel to be sentenced in prison. And people will come to talk about amnesty. From amnesty, they will ask Martin and the Colonel to drop the agitation. And they join the Nigerian politics. Or he will never talk. And when he comes out, the Afghans will see him as a betrayal, and his life will be at danger. I will conscious pilot to push back up for Jesus in the lobby. I will stop here. I know people are going to ask questions. Some other things I will say when I'm answering the question, I will use there to make the clarification. There was a chinebi. There was. Thank you very much. Ntebonka. Maz, I think we are going to go into a few minutes break so that when we come back, I will open the line so that people will call in. I think it's the best, uh, it's the best thing to do right now, isn't it? Yes, yes, Maz. That's true. Thank you very much. That's true. Um, dear friends, uh, this is a, uh, you know, you, we need to understand how the dynamics of this world, how things work. Because what we are engaging in, <laughs> is is heavier and bigger than what we even imagine. The more we go, the more we understand the more. So that is it. So the world doesn't care about your emotions. So I will go into a few minutes break and when I come back, I will open the line so that people will call in and ask questions or make contributions if you may. Please do not go away. 
We'll be right back. <laughs> This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Mimens Miles, Jonathan Chinedu from Alu Province of Biafra Land. Do not forget that we are here live and direct on today is the 27th day of January 2024. We are here live and direct with Maazi China Samoru, who is our GOC on a live interactive session. Therefore, our lines are now opened and our direct line is plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. I repeat, plus one, two, one, three, three, two, eight, six, two, two, four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six, one, four, zero, five, one, four, two, five, four, seven. I repeat, plus six, one, four, zero, five. One four two five four seven. Please, if you call, if you have a question, please go direct to your question. If you have a a viewpoint, a suggestion, please go direct. No preambles, please. And I will give each person maximum of three minutes, please. So please 
do that. If you have a question, you go direct to the question. If you have a suggestion also, go direct to the suggestion. Let us avoid this before you start thanking this and thanking that. This is not a time of thanking. Before you start thanking this and that, time has gone and people are there waiting. So, that is what I would like us to stick to this, please, this instruction. Therefore, as I said, our lines are now open. You can call us and give us your view or ask questions. Mazichin Asamoru is here in order to in order to take your questions, please. We are live and I know people Mazi, I know many people are watching football, honestly speaking. I know that. <laughs> I know. So, but we must continue. I have people that are, please, just let me see, because people want to call on different platforms. And I don't want anybody to disturb what I'm doing. Let me see. Let me pick this caller that has been calling. Mazi Ugo, please. Welcome to the program, Mazi Ugo. Can you hear me? Please go straight to your question or your suggestion, please. Go straight, direct, without mincing words. Go on, please. This is your brother will call you from my location at the moment. Mazitina these things that you have told us tonight, we have been expecting it. But please, this is what I want you to do for me. How can you pressurize our uh, our uh, the people that is handling uh, this type of brokers to be putting on what's on on a, on a tape like WhatsApp so that we can distribute it? Everybody in the African land, they need to hear this because I am one of the people that said they will never blackmail the head of the Directorate of State. Just in case, if anything go, if anything happen, we know exactly what happened. We are how the Lyoma has in the country to America. Please, how do you going to make sure that this type of brokers is being circulated on WhatsApp so that our people will listen to it? They will. They will, man, see. Yeah, well, man, see, uh, that is a direct question. I don't know. Man, I don't really want to say anything because it concerns also us, all of us. They look for because they know when it comes to area. Man, are you there? So far, they can score, but you can say no, he was looking for. They have two white. Man, is it China, Can you hear me? Mazi. Yes, yes. I'm, uh, I'm here. Do, I'm, you, do you hear, I'm here. hear what he said? Yes, I heard. And I said something also. I said, I, I heard him and I promised him that after this broadcast, that there are people who convert brokers to WhatsApp. And after this broadcast, we will get those, those WhatsApp version and make sure it is circulated widely on social platforms. And they will there woman is in there well thank you uh caller on signal marzi i think uh, is if i'm not mistaken marzi dudu can you hear me please you're one of us go on please can you hear me yes i can hear you marzi thank you very much there we're welcome. yes i'll go straight to the point there uh i i am not yet to ask a question but if i'll be permitted to i'll say something a kind of addition to some of the things that uh, marzi shina someone have just said on, then go i will go on go on go okay so uh in my own understanding because uh, i want all of us uh to i want uh, the the growth of this struggle so we almost understand where we are going uh, some of the things that our leader uh, Shinatan Moro have said is, uh, if we those of us who are in uh, those of us who are in uh, uh, Burkina Faso, if you want to do protest, you carry Burkina Faso flag because we are not going to make 
uh, unnecessary enemy that is not, uh, you know, uh, it, it, that is not warrant. If you are UAE, you want to do protest, you take UAE flag. You don't go and take flag that UAE we consider as an enemy. It is just brain. There was one time uh, we were asking a question that why have there not be a, a protest in Turkey? And I got uh, some of the uh, some of the brothers. I got information from them. I was saying in Turkey that the last time they had a, 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 a protest in Turkey and they went with Israeli flag. All of a sudden, they they they, 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 they it was a kind of ambush, but not ambush with cutlass or whatever, but. According to them, the 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 Turkey people chased them, and everybody ran to their to wherever they can find safety. So that is why you know since that time they have not been permitted to do protests in Turkey. Why? Because of you know you we must observe where we are and what is attainable in those areas. It is just common sense. And lastly, let me, this is the last thing I want to say. My senior brother, one of my senior brother, lives in Israel for three almost four years three and a half years plus and i know the experience he got and this is my brother he's not a member of ipub but he's a sympathizer he's not a member of ipub okay but he lives in israel for three and a half years close to four years he was even the one that told me he was even the one that told me that because he still have friends who lives in israel he was even the one that told me that our leader is, is being is being compelled in israel he's not really welcomed a lot of things are underground that they cannot say to us. I'm telling you about three years ago plus. This is a person that is not even a member of IPOB. But because he knows what is going on in Israel. So we must be sensible. We IPOB. We don't hate Israel people. And uh, we don't hate anybody. But we just put sense in everything we are doing. So Marzi, this is just all I have to say. Thank you very much. Oh, there. Well, thank you, Marzi. Thank you. We must con Oh, I'm sorry. I'll foresee. I'm sorry I mistakenly off switch off the WhatsApp Wi-Fi connection. The Wi-Fi, please. That's why I foresee. But um, I have switched it on now so people can also use WhatsApp, please. I'm just checking why cause we are not coming on WhatsApp like that. And I found out that it was switched off. But you can now call on WhatsApp. It is coming. And people have started calling anyway. I have a caller on signal. Caller on signal, please go on. Can you, uh, please, before I continue on caller on signal, hold on. Let me take this caller on direct line. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Please go on. Caller on direct line, please. Can you hear me? Caller on direct line. For the last time, can you hear me? No. I don't know why. I don't know why. Now, caller on signal. Please go on. Caller on signal. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, uh, smarty, bam. Go on, Marzi. Go on, Marzi. Please. Okay, thank you. No preambles. Um, Go on, please. I hear you very well, sir. Sure. Um, I'm grateful uh, for a bit of what I heard because um, I didn't tune to this from the beginning because of uh, engagement. It gave me a bit of relief um, because I saw that what I what I've been fighting. I was not fighting a wrong fight. Uh, it's it's up to our people to go ahead and um, listen and take seriously important things that have been said. Um, I remember one time when somebody said something in the meeting I was in. He said, "By the way, are those who are fighting for the head of the OS that have been?" Are, those, are they those who have been pushed out instead of those who are fighting the DOS and the head of DOS? And um, it's all coming together. And um, I remember when this news came out, I said, I hope this is not the case of um, Syrian 
and it's, it's proven true. That was right a day or two after this whole rendition. And I said among people, I said, I hope a case of Syriana has not taken place here. The fight cannot, the fight depends on us. Not any other person. Once we get that, there is nothing that can siphon our energy and put it in a different way it should not go. And that there's something as the has said. The people who've been wronged, um, the effort to redirect things so that those people can come back and put their energy towards what this movement is all about. Um, it, we are all in. We are all in prison. And there's one thing. I'm doing my worst for a reason. If you listen, there was, you know, English language is not our language, although a lot of our people tend to take it as though it's our language. Uh, we don't speak English language very well. We don't understand it. And the same thing applies to even our own language, Uber language. Our leader has said during a broadcast, he used that term. He said, even if, if, if I were ever protected, even if I were, even if, I think even if, maybe I'm paraphrasing a little bit, even if I were ever protected, then he mentioned the state of Israel. That gave me a chill. Clearly, that Martin Lambicano was not being protected at all, even from the angle that some of us believe he had, he was being protected from. And this has also come further to confirm it. If anything, like Mazichin, as I said, we should open our eyes to know that the fight is our fight. So we can focus our energy. But then again, um, directives. I saw part of like a carrying flags tonight. I said, it's a directive. I don't know if it came up because I never read anything like that in any memo that I read in the past. So I take it as a directive. And anybody who has ears and you have common sense, you've gotten the directive. And it's not just for this angle, but to surrounding this movement so that you pay attention and you know what to link and what not to link so that our interest is properly protected. So I am very grateful and uh, I am confident that we are going to achieve our goal, put emotion aside and put our effort, our resources and energy towards that very objective eventually it will click we will hit the proper key that will take us to where we're going it's not impossible and uh, i know it's not impossible okay then that one out one uh when i spoke last on radio biafra at the end of last year okay then that one out one aj wow ipo has its own strength and we need to recognize that strength, and that's part of what has come out tonight. And Pursuit, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, well, thank you. There we go. Caller on direct line. I don't know whether you're hearing me. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Uh, please, Mars, go on, please. The whole world is listening. Go on. I think it's Mars, you're careful. Careful. Uh, good evening, dear friends. Uh, my name is Judo Kafo. Judo Kafo, now from Agbo. Agbo, na Nioma. And Nioma, they shall be Afro land. And Nioma people, we are Igbo people 100%. Uh, Marzi, in fact, I am very happy today to listen to this wonderful program from Marzi China Samuru. Everything you have said today is the pure truth. When they come to Israel, we are from Israel. We are, we are not from Israel. We are only we are older than Israel itself. We are the beginning of the beginning. Israel supposed to be supposed to be carrying the, the flag of Biafra. Not we carrying their flag because we are older than them. Number two, they find their way to be a nation. Just like what Biafra are doing to do, we are doing. Israel are not coming to help us because when they were fighting, there was nobody help them. They helped themselves. 
to get their freedom. Why are we carrying their flag? We are from Israel. We are never from Israel. We are not related to Israel. God created us the way He created us as an Igbo people. In the Igbo, we are older than them. We are not against them. We will not cause them. We will not do anything to them. But let us leave them away from our freedom and fight for what is right for ourselves. Because each time we protest, we carry the flag of Israel. It makes it the other countries against us. Like what Mahazichina Samozu rightly said today. Israel has never had anybody, any Christian nation in this world to be liberated. Because all those people there today, they are not the real Jewish. We, the black Mahazi, people, Mahazi, are the first Mahazi, Jewish people. Please, let me, let are the first people Mahazi. in that land. Mahazi, can you hear me? So, therefore, everything Mahazi, Kina, Samuri have said today, I don't have any other thing to add to it. Rather, I want Biafra to take all these things into their brain and let us fight when the sun is still shining. Thank you, Mazi. This is what I have to say. Oh, well, 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 Bless all Biafra for my people around the world. For at the end, our leader must be released. Thank you. And all of us will live long to see Biafra in our time. Thank you. In the name Thank of you. Name I pray. You see? Thank you, Mazi. Um, I don't know why he's not hearing. He wasn't hearing me. But let me correct this impression, please. This night, you know, Mazi China Samoru made just a simple example. So let let us not, because of it, we lose the the main substance of today's program by now going into unnecessary detail. Mazi China, sir, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Mazi Nasa. Mazi, I got you. I, I, yes, so I got you. We, we know more Muslim start, Muslim we not now start entering Israel. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no. Uh, let us uh, focus. He yeah. just a uh, general yeah. example. Yeah. He cited a few examples. Let us not turn this nice uh, program now into using it to attack, to, you know, uh, please, please. I am begging. Please. Um, let me also call, uh, I mean, caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Call us on signal. Please hold on, I'm coming. I don't know what is happening to to the WhatsApp, my WhatsApp, uh, the phone, the WhatsApp phone, I think it's filled up, the memory. I need to, you know, offload the many things because things that even people adding the number on different groups, I don't even know. I need to offload everything. Caller on direct line, can you hear me? Please go on. Mazi, go on, please. You have a few minutes and go straight to what we are talking about, please. Go on, please. Yeah. I feel it. I really And everything that the Sinatra will be. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. ご視聴ありがとうございました<音楽><音楽><音楽><音楽><音楽> ご視聴ありがとうございました<音楽><音楽><音楽><音楽> That's 
Let me take another caller on signal. You have been here, please. Welcome to the program. Caller. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. I can hear you, Mazi. Mazi, Jonathan. Am I coming out clear? You are. Please go on. Go on. All right. Thank you, Mazi, Jonathan. And uh, greetings to our GOC on board. Mazi, we're watching it. And I will go straight to what I want to say, Mazi. And I'm saying this because our leader on board has told us the way it is. Because our people for over time are people who like to talk. We are not people who face reality. You understand? Because this thing we are suffering today as a race, evil as a race, is in aptitude of our fathers in the past, this part they took that brought us this far that we are trying to bring ourselves out from. It's not an easy task because even as it stands today, fighting with an evil person is something is a big risk to you. And when I say evil, I'm not peculiaring to such is evil in general. Anywhere you find yourself, be it where you cross us at anywhere, all of us are one. We have the same attitude and this attitude is what? We don't want to use what we have to secure ourselves. Rather, we put our hope and outside that. We prefer to protect the interest of our side. I keep saying this thing, than our own interest. We don't want to know the East interest we are projecting or we are protecting. How is it going to affect us at the long run? We are not people who critically reason issues. This is why I'm happy to be in this broadcast because this is a very big eye opening that our land and our people are still under slavery. No matter how you wish to interpret it, this is why it's been a tedious job for IPO Marinam Bekano and even the leadership to make this message pass through the, the, the minds and the intelligence of our people grassroots. Because we are on ground, sometimes we see things that happen that our people who you are fighting for, sometimes you begin to ask yourself, are ah, these people worth fighting for? Because you see them, they even know more than you. That at the end of the day, they know nothing, but where their strength and their energy lies is when it comes to condemning their self. Because there can never be a society without a, 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 a family. Society starts from family. Our parents, Sorry I'm defending, but I have to say this, our parents, because this is where this mentality comes in. You can never see our people in our land being able to be proud of being a able person. You can see that they now speak English more than every other race in the world. But they are not the only people, the English people colonized. Now they have abandoned everything about themselves. Even when you're talking to them, there is no longer secret. They took everything in English. How do you want to defeat people using their weapon? So we can never master their weapon more than them. This is why we always agitate and say, Biafra is our religion. Let's make Biafra our focus first. Because this issue our Mazi raised is very critical for us. Nobody cares about all. They killed us 1967 to 70. Nobody cares. 1945, they killed us. And they have been killing us. I've had a lot of Britain killed our women, our mothers, our precious therefore They killed them. And nobody has ever talked about it. What is the interest? Or is it just because the Bible says that you must follow an old way and you see that that old way of following is not even bringing anything positive. Brother, it's taking everything away from you. You are there all your life, you struggle to pay time, contribute. The Westerners are the ones enjoying the senior oil, the senior mineral resources. They send away your two brands abroad. Once they graduate as doctors or whatever, they take them abroad. They leave you with nothing. Rather, they gave you guns to be killing yourself in the name of militancy and criminality. Mm, they are women, eh? This is why they are holding our leader and they are making it look as if uh, who we are not. Man, we must continue on the Of Let course. Let me give that chance. Of course, we must. We must. Because we have no back to go. 
Um, call on direct line. Please go on. Welcome to the program. I don't know whether you have question. I would have preferred people to ask questions. I don't know. I'm Richard. I'm, I'm, I'm calling from Toronto, Ontario. There, Womazi. There, Womazi. Go on, go on. Bapu also. Bapu also. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, Kinas, um, uh, Congress, Kinas, uh, it's very good to hear your voice today. I've not been to this radio for many months, but I've just go to whatever you have digested today. You have uh, reviewed everything. This is what I strongly believe that this platform has to be used in revealing so many things concerning this our struggle. But there are a lot of ignorant people that are in this movement. Sorry to say, but I have to say, they don't know the diplomatic nature of the struggle with into. They are using uh, emotions to join with the politics. You don't join emotions with politics. Politics is based on interest. What we are doing is one of the most highest level of political struggle. But when you put political struggle, people say, oh, I will play politics. It's, this is politics. But you don't put emotions in this in a freedom struggle. So you put your interest where your interest lies. The flying of people's flag is what I'm, what I'm, I, I was against it for a very long time. You know, because this world is like a web, a web, you know, you have to play politics and the diplomacy like the boat, the canoe on top of river. So you, that's how you have to play the diplomacy. So every other activity, the BOS has to give mandate. Anything going forward now, like as, as we have said from 2024, that nobody should fly any country's um, flag. I see Palestinians protesting for people killing their people. None of them are using any Arab flag. They are using Palestinian flag. That's what they are using all over the world. I've been watching their, their protests till now. So now, again, in terms of um, our people's mindset, even till tomorrow, a Tulani man can be negotiated with in terms of Biafra, and he will be our best friend. So we have to make open door that anybody can be our friend, anybody can be our enemy. We don't have permanent friend or permanent enemy. We don't have a particular people as enemy. Even a Tulani we are talking about today, than people that will be better, better than tomorrow. This is politics, and it will continue. So our people has to remove emotions from all these things. People gingering them and all that they want to ginger. They have to really push those things and seek for our interest. Our interest is what we have to seek. Then in terms of only onion do and how we have made the organogram of IPOP. Um I believe that we should be continue doing whatever we are doing and you know doing our best. We have to know that this struggle is not a tea party affair. So we are entering into the most difficult part of this struggle. Everybody has to get their loins. I na buy na I na na buy I na pay cash to move me. So only of us are able to now have a buffer or necessarily. So man that na a high no na is the most difficult part of this struggle and critical reality. China that what we are doing today is what is telling us, telling our our people the truth about the struggle. The situation surrounding the struggle and where we are and where we are headed. That's what we do and all the leadership has to be converting to us all the time, telling us this is where we are. Not, there's nothing to hide anywhere except the operations of our ESN and how we are doing about so that's that's the only way we can put the apply and uh, I mean to But in there terms will. of the event happening there will. Mars, please round up, round up, round up, round up. So we have to we have to be very very uh, uh, um, uh, real to our people as we have said it today very very clear so people about flying israeli and must know that our people live in live in um, in gaza too this death happening in gaza evil people have died there we have to know these things we live in we live very well in the world so we have to use diplomacy and take down our flying of flag for, for anybody we don't have to fly anybody's flag so that, that's that's thing. I really appreciate I love the, the war. There war, Marzi. But we have to be very strong. You have to. There war. There war. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. You. Thank, you, Thank you, Marzi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We must continue. I have callers lining up. We you know. Caller on. Let me see who has been who has been there. Caller on what's up? Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Caller on what's up? I don't know. The people that okay, have any question, please. Uh, people should limit their contributions to just few minutes so that people ca 
can ask questions if there is any. Can you hear me? Call her. Go on, go on. Call her on WhatsApp. Go on, please. I, I can hear you. Good evening. There, Womazi. Welcome to the program. Good evening, Mazi Jonathan. There, Womazi. Um, very much. I'm John Charlie Jubo. Now, in the middle of this revelation now, as there are church leaders who are interested in this, but they will not make themselves open. I'm interested in everything about PF, about Muslim, they can know about uh, IPUBDOS. We're following everything. We're on X. So, church leaders, they be very honest about this. What, you say what? what you, you say what? The church leaders or those leaders? I don't the know. Church, uh, church leaders. Church, church, okay. church leaders who are interested. Okay. What do you? How do you? In wisdom and in intelligence, you are dressed. And if you can also, sometimes I've I've sent things to, sent things DM'd China certain times. Even this revelation he made about Israel now was one of the people that usually confront him when he makes that post about Israel. But I've learned, I've learned better today. So my question is, please, church leaders who are interested, what do you think they should do at this moment in time? Okay, in a way to help, in a way, to, in a way to help this struggle. Okay. Before you come in, just one. Let me just let me use uh, thirty seconds in order to address. Let me tell people that are listening, dear friends, mostly. If you saw or you see any posts of any kind made by people, leadership in leadership position, like Mazichi Nasamur in his platform. Uh, know that there is something he know because there are informations available to them that is you don't know uh, he's not doing it just you know in order to steer up controversy you know? no 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 there are things behind everything so as much as I know, said, I know, I know no, I'm now. just addressing this issue please uh, Master Chinasa is listening he will come yeah. in just hold on I'm just talking you know uh, so that All you right. don't just you don't just because of emotion you just the same emotion we are talking you just jump in start uh, uh, commenting sorry no no why uh, it isn't there are things you know information and when did I will have cool 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 and adult that because of information they have but you with the limited things you are seeing just they you start using it is not normal so I think you had him please go on had a question. Uh, yeah, ma, 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 if we honestly, allow you to do honestly, this, you can last like five hours. But I'm going to come. Some people will say, you say you will come, you will not come <laughs> when you promise. But I'm going to, we are in 2024. The happenings around will make me to be always be on radio. Now, Mazi, we, in, in, I'm in, I'm in here, our yeah. struggle for the restoration of Biafra, in my early speech here, I said, everybody is welcome. Advice is welcomed. But one thing is this. We, we also expect people to betray. But it depends how we present our issue. IPOB, we have a place we are going. We know there are church pastors who are interested. We know there are people. That's why I said many of our people love this thing we are doing. Many of our people want Biafra to come tomorrow. The politicians are frustrated in Nigeria, but they don't have the urge to confront Nigeria because they are eating from there. The, the traditional rulers, they want their own autonomy, but they are being controlled by Nigeria. Now, I don't know if you people have seen 
or head the, the, the campaign that our Hanese is going to Lagos. They're going to cry, they use <laughs> oh God, they are going to Lagos to know why and pray. They are going to conduct a prayer. I don't know if it is today or tomorrow. They will conduct a prayer why Nigeria is treating Ndibo like this. Or Hanez Ndibo. That Iwanya is going there. That yes, a weekend will be there. That the wife of Hopus of him will be there. Master, I will send you the audio. You can so play it. Help them and advertise it. Ndibo. These people Please, are men today. They have all sold their what? conscience. Sometimes Mas, I don't blame them. They have no way to return back. Mas, we China, sir, still can you hear me? Mas, China, sir, can you hear me? Just yes. hold on because the Mazi wants to interject on something. Mas, what are you? Are you hearing him? Mas, China, sir, was, was, can you hear the Please. our man? Yes. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. But I really want him to uh, to to to. to, to answer that directly what i know all these things people I would, the issue there are no, 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 no. I will answer it, all i, I will need answer is it. how you not for only you okay, so other okay, people will okay. understand um I will, all right all right so how i'm trying to give the basis so that tomorrow as, when they come as in now, they let me this come. You, please you you log off and listen so that because there are many calls that yes. are coming please Mas, yeah, yeah, yeah. So all right. Yeah. All right. All right. With, with, all, with all pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. With all pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Just listen. Thank you. You're listening. Yeah. Yeah. Mas, yeah. Please go. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mas, uh, um, like the people he's saying, we, let me tell you, I said this leadership, we have all that, we, we entered in a, a very strong underground research to understand the feeling of our people. Truly, truly, is our people hate what we are doing? Truly, truly, does our people don't want Biafra to come? We came out that 90% of our Biafra, both politicians and every one of them, they want Biafra. I can tell you that. Those people you are talking, we need people in all aspects of what we are doing. We can tell them we need them. If they want to work with us, they are highly welcomed. And we will tell them when we want them to come in. Because it might be the area we are lacking people to speak up. They are already on the religious side. We have things we want it to be strengthened on the religious aspect. And when they come from that side, we will work with them. Because we have concerns on about religious matters that are affecting our struggle. And they will help. You come to people in the military. We have our people in the military. We need them. We have concise what we want them to do to strengthen the struggle. You come for the politicians. We need them. You come to the businessmen. We need them. Because there are some businessmen, some importers. If we manage to lay our hands and have a meeting with them, some Igbo importers in Lagos. They don't, because they have gone far, they don't know what. There is what we will tell them. If they do that in two months, I can tell you every importer in Lagos will start uh, exporting their goods, importing their goods in the southeast, either on it or on it. But we need one or two people. Who are those main people? There are things you will do. You give them the pattern, you tell them, tell the government like this. Tell them like this. Move it this way. Then the state governors will support them. The importers. You will unravel the importers. The same thing with the religious people. Mazi, the religious people that will come to us, we want them. The struggle has become, we have come to the stage, we are not afraid to deal with anybody. Because we can decode who you are. Abu Akwanadi struggle. We won't come. We will deal with you. If you come in good, you will receive good. If you come bad also, you will get bad. We will not. And this initiative, i So for your question, my brother, we are available. If you have people that they need attention, they want to participate in this thing, 
they want to do this thing we are we are into they want to support it's not about money then the door is open and that's why i said from the beginning there are people who left this struggle they were wrongly blackmailed that's why i'm calling this evening they must rethink they must all come back to this struggle there were coordinators there were people that have supported this struggle they pay with their their lives there is somebody in america i know he's getting old now this man supported this struggle he 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 risked his companies he risked buildings he risked many things he has to support this struggle maybe one thing or the other misunderstanding his blackmail we know them it is time we have to reconcile because they were having their impact come and support this struggle if Biafra comes tomorrow it is for every one of us let me tell you something i do not believe if you don't support this struggle if Biafra come kill him no i don't believe i don't believe that if you don't support if there are things you need to pay if there are fines and things there are things people who don't support have to do you do but you will see things by yourself and you will regret you are not part of the people who fought for the freedom i am not a party even if you don't support us the afra comes are we going to kill you we are not going to kill you then your conscience will judge you you will regret within yourself why you why you did not participate in this in the restoration of Biafra. with what i know today our people supported this struggle and i will not be here people will make us to become enemy of our people only men call job all your no men and call job and I want to say this and also to our media personnel. When you are going after anybody, a politician, a governor, when you want to criticize him, they have manifestos that they read for you. They have manifestos, they read the manifestos for you, that they will do this, they will do that. Pick up their manifestos. Put your pressure on them. Do not go personal. Don't take the attack because what you are doing is to bring betterment for Biafra land. The governor is there. Our people are killed. Call the governor out. That you are here, you are not protecting our people and people killed under your watch. But I don't want you to exceed from what that particular thing I'm telling him, your mama. Your mama na naked woman. Your papa, now you they sleep with this person. You they, don't, please, we have crossed that stage. It is not accepted. It is unprofessional from any media person. If you want to criticize somebody, because we are in a struggle, you cannot blackmail people to the point that people will be bitter in their heart. That they see you for no reason they kill you because but you forgot you have blackmailed them we want to prevent these things because a bigger enemy is in front of us that is coming we don't want people to because they were blackmailed they will not be part of the struggle to liberate our land when they know they can be able to contribute in what we are doing that is my stand and that is the stand of this leadership it is not about money we are not talking about money here. We are talking about there are things these people, all the people can contribute in this struggle. If you don't know what you can contribute, come. We will tell you where we want you to play your own role. We want you to play this role for us. But keep your mouth shut. That is it. And I can tell you, my brother, those people, as long as they are people that they did not want our people dead, they are not part of the criminal group. 
IPOB, we are opening the distance to put them back. It is not those who have followed and killed our people. It is not those who have already voted and they banned the DOS, do their distance and dislodge the DOS and took over. It is not those people we are talking about. It is not the people who have already come and uh, um, uh, vote, of confidence, vote of no confidence online. Because if you come to us, we will verify. Because you have already removed us. But if genuinely, when they destroy, when they try to destroy the struggle, you you said, okay, one side, I don't want to. There is no problem. Come back. The leadership is in control of the struggle. We don't boast. I swear to Chuku Kikadiama, the, the crop of men inside this DOS, they are not the boastful type. They are not boastful because we know that we know this is a very difficult assignment. Yes, we didn't know from the beginning, but we have realized and see the reality. We said no, we have to buckle up. We need to get this job done. And Chuku Kikadeva have been very, very faithful. Mali, get the people, we need to talk with them, and we need to align with them in what we are doing. There are people who we speak to them and put things in the right position. But we don't want people who will come to joke with us because we don't have that time. Genuinely, we want the people to come in in any side they can help, and we can also tell them the side they have to help. They will watch naked. There were more, see, there were. I have colors that are lining up honestly, but as we are also gradually heading towards the closing of this program, but we must continue nonetheless. Caller on signal, please start by telling us your name and where you're calling from, if you may, and go straight to your point or question. Caller on signal, can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? The whole world is hearing you, not only me. Please go on. Good evening, Mazi Jonathan. The the Mazi Chinasan Uru. Good evening from me. Uh my name is Mazi Fanny. Mazi Fanny calling for his location. Mazi, uh, let me go straight to my question. My number one question is this. How long, how time do we have? to let this, the civilians of iniquities of our leader continue, you know, damaging our image, continue putting this struggle in a mess, continue jeopardizing this struggle, whereby we have lost many so, and many so have gone because of this struggle. I want you to answer me if it is yes or no. I don't want you to explain what leadership is, or is, is uh, planning to do because I knew that Leadership has a plan, which I'm here to defend the leadership. So I want us to know how long. If we, we don't have time for them, say yes. If we will have time, say no. That one, one. I hope you are understanding me. My, my second question is this. I saw what uh, Mieti Allah tweeted. My Twitter handle, I'm always, I'm always picking your point to my facebook i saw what they tweeted warning uh government this present government i want to know how prepared our men are because Fulani, they never forgive and they never forget i want to know i don't want you to go f uh, telling us how you know just assure that's what i, I need that's my second question and my third question is this. Uh, we, I heard when you are talking about our people taking a flag, uh, you know, this and that. I don't want to go much in that detail. Mas, I want to ask you, does it mean that uh, our media head don't know all these things? That, uh, may, uh, let me give instance. I remember when, when if we want to go protest in, uh, in the ground, I'm in the ground. Our either local government coordinator or state coordinator or central coordinator will ask us what to to bring along or what not to bring along. Are you getting me? Does it mean that the media head does not 
you know, know that uh, taking a particular country flag to another country uh, is jeopardizing what we are, we are doing. Just just take it like this. I want you to highlight it more. May God bless you, Marzi. I'm yeah. not trying to ask what leadership is planning to do because I know that leadership is at work. There war, there and that's war. why we, we are here to defend them. May I God I bless outta. you. War. Marzi Chinasa. Yes, Marzi. Um, <laughs> yes, you know, this is our brother, the way he asked the question. They are very deep, but they said, I don't want you to go to this. But to clarify it so that people will not say, um, you didn't clarify it. I want to make something very clear for IPOB members around the world. I'm not going to mind here I'm tomorrow. Even evil politicians, evil leaders, and many of you know about these things. When I talk about the damage, one of the damage, the family, the siblings of Mazen and Kano have caused to this struggle. I will be calling out of our names in them. The siblings of Mazen and Kano set up their own men, their own group of men. They are using to harass people on behalf of IPOB, which is not accepted. I'm saying it on air so that they know, we know all this. To the point that people come to their compound, when they see you, when, as you know, they used to gather, you will be asked, are you part of uh, China Samoru ESN or are you part of uh, Kanonta and the fine boy ESN? This is the mess these people have put this struggle into. That our people, that people start to ask, is does Fine Boy and Canon have their own ESN security men? And the China Samoru now have. I don't have any ESN. ESN was formed by Mazen Nandekano and IPOD worldwide. But the siblings of Mazen Nandekano went forward from money they are taking from politicians they form a group of men that at a point devil mahi i am saying this on air devil mahi called one of our principal officers he asked him something he said oh, people are talking about this struggle to do this thing are you people know what you are doing the person said yes the woman told him, you know why I'm, I'm telling you this? You people are jokers. He told me the guy, it's better you leave this struggle and go and find your life. I'm ready to offer you something. Go and find your life. Because this thing is, the siblings of man the Kano is doing, is discouraging people from all these things you people are doing. He asked the person, are you, think, are you, are you, are you telling me you don't know that the siblings of Mazen and the Kano form their own ESN, that they are using to harass politicians, take money, if you don't do this, they do that. He said like this. And the person said, we don't know. He said, then you people don't know what you are doing. You people are jokers. This is how you people are forming that. That is why Dave Omari always say, I don't want Biafra. That is why he used to say that thing. That everybody is not Biafra. It is the behavior and attitude he saw. The siblings of Mazen and Bekane is a bit. And not only him. Many sometimes we are being confronted with that subject. We are being confronted. And we feel as we feel, sometimes there are things we are being confronted. Even there is a diplomatic issue we went when we are being confronted with this thing. It seems like the land opens so that you go inside and the land flows. You never believe that this kind of things happen, and that these things are in the hands of the international community. But I'm saying this evening, it is over. It is either we are in for this struggle. Or we are out. We can never deceive the people of Biafra 
on the way to fight for our freedom. Because with deception, we can never get to our destination. 2024. Because at the point we are, the people that play this dangerous game, any one of us can be handed over in order to seal their deal. You if they, imagine what the siblings of Mazen Nandekano is doing to IPOB leadership. Imagine handing us over for them to get what they want. It is in time of open my mind. And they are on the verge of that. That is where their that is their mission. Their mission is how do we destroy China Sawuru Chikedozim? If they have opportunity to hand China Sawuru over to people they want to hand him to make sure they get they will do it tomorrow, not next tomorrow. That is the level they are going. Because they have become all desperate. I'm not saying people who are giving them money. If you want to give them money, give them money on the personal level. But do not give them money that you are giving it to IPOD. You are, you are supporting IPOD. Do not give them because any money given to them, you are giving it to their pocket. They have nothing they are doing for IPOD. They can do for their family, but not for IPOD. Some of them have never owned cars in their life. Some of them have never been able to buy cars in their life until this struggle entered to this age. Today, five boy have up to 10, 10 to 15 flashy cars inside his compound. And people are asking us, is it the same Biafra that you are talking about? Kuru no here and I may know is it. This 2024, my brother, it is not a year of joke. I have found out that I am now their target. I have decided that I am going to face that storm. My head is in that struggle to make sure that this struggle survives, to make sure that this struggle has a headway, to make sure that thousands of our people who have died because of this struggle will rest in peace. Thousands in prison, they have made this struggle a caricature in the hands and in the circle of evil elites. Evil elites, they, are, they, they want us to be free, but many of them, their hands are already tied because the people have forgotten that it was 10 years ago we started this struggle. People have their life before 10 years ago. 10 years ago, people were doing their businesses. 10 years ago, some of them have become anything they want to become. Then the Diafra struggle stays in. You think it is easy. Why it is easy for people like us was because we do not have any business with the Nigerian government. If we were entangled in Nigerian government cases, we cannot be able to pursue this. We cannot be able to pursue this agenda. Because you are already serving them. And on the process, some of them now can support you clandestinely. But these people have rubbished this struggle. They have rubbished it in such a way that many people, that is why if you are even talking about Mazen and the Kano release to them, they look at you as a foolish person. They look at you as a foolish person. You see them as your enemy, but they are not your enemy. They have their own pain about our own experience, about what they have done for this struggle, and their lives are at stake. Don't you ask yourself a question, where are all the people speaking for you? Where, where are they? Where are they? Are you asking questions? Why are they withdrawing back? Why are they stepping backwards? Are they impressed? Were they interested before? Do you think they don't know we are being under bondage? But the things they know is bigger. They don't know where to start. Some of them don't They don't have that capacity. But they can support people 
who shows capacity. And if you show the evil people capacity, remain to show them that you are genuine. Remove people who will come to destroy your image. The level I have gone now, so I will allow my family members to come and destroy my name. I have built for myself. Or if somebody talk to my family, say, go back. And the, the people will say, no. Therefore, we need to open our mind if really we want this struggle. We need to make peace, make amendment. We stop seeing everybody as our enemy. They are not our enemy. Our enemy is the Nigerian government. Our enemy is the Fulani Hesmen. Our enemy are those who are us in bondage. These are our enemy. Secondly, Mazi, I, I, you know, I've gone, there is something our brother talked about, the Fulani Hesmen, that um, he saw that the Mazi, we are not worried for what the Fulani Hesmen have said. I have said this thing at the beginning of this program. They are threat is for people of middle belt. How why you have a the Afro land? How they may have they already they know they know the, the full ideas men we are not cowards, we are not people of the middle belt. Yes, we do not say they may not enter some places heat. One thing we are saying is that the communities must all be on our lap. When they come into your community, you need IP, you need to inform us, unless some of them. And also, I want you people to, villages, communities, spot all those traditional rulers, all those PG, working with the full investment because they are paid the penalty. They are blinded by the little money given to them to allow full to settle in their community, inform the leadership of IP only. Inform IPO through your local government coordinator, through your inform them IPOB medias because if anything happened there, we will hold them responsible. One thing is this we have a policy. All those people that are allowing Fulani into the communities, allowing them and they know that the Fulani Hesmen are there, raping, killing. They will be paid back in their own coin because they are conspirators. They are being paid. They are being settled. That is why anytime the Fulani cause the havoc, they kill people. The next thing they will call the military because the milit the Fulani will tell him, "Don't worry, we have the military backing of the military. If anything happens, we call the military." You will see Fulani Hesmen in the bush, and the military will run in the in the bush. And we are, have already instructed the ESN the corporate operatives. Anywhere you are having confrontation with the Fulani militia, you see any military man in there, any policeman in there, consider him as one of the Fulani militia. Don't have any mercy on them because he have come on the cross on the on the on the battlefield. Consider him as a full animal here. If you see any policeman, yearly uniform, throw a tan 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 tan, and the military come inside the bush where you are having confrontation with the full animal men. Consider that policeman, the army man, the BG, whoever he is. Consider him as a full animal terrorist, and do him justice. It's as simple as that. So, Mazi. Whatever they are writing to the full anime, to the government, we wait for them. I am not telling you that ESM is 100% everything. We need logistic support. We need support, continuous support. We need people to support ESM. It will make us be more effective. ESM is not a security network you see parading on the street. You need to live freely. We want a free society. If tomorrow the Afra comes, does it mean you, you know, one thing is that our people have got the mentality that you need a policeman to always be you beside. They say no, because security. This mentality, we must drop this mentality. Anybody that gets more money, anybody that, if you have not bring a, you see young men, will want to stand where policemen are carrying gun, protecting him. 
This is a mindset many of you have built for yourself. You get small money. You took police, you just go and rented policemen put beside you. You are building a wrong mindset for yourself, for your society, for a society where you move around, a good society, a, 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 a society free of great crimes. You don't need the policeman to wear uniform and start following you. Some of you in the other way, you have seen it as a way of success. Nah, I can security, you pay. Does it add, does security add money to your pocket? You pay. And I understand why some people don't, they want ESN to wear uniform, come on the street, from there they harass people, from there they start taking bribes, they, from there they say they have done accidental discharge. These are the things we don't want it to repeat in Biafra. In the nation, we have anything we want, we have to start now to put up those ideas in the mind of our people. Because it, Biafra land was a, it's a, it's a land that people have lived without crimes. People once lived in that land without stealing, killing, and all these things. People lived in that place. Returning to our roots, we are returning to how we live freely. So, may the Allah is giving their threat. <laughs> we are focused. His threat is not moving us. We are focused. We are looking at the threat. And we have already, the order has been given. Start dissimulating them anywhere you see them around our borders. Immediately. I don't know if there is any other one I'm missing. Because remind me. No, 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 no. There were. There were. Um, I think I will take these calls that are already lined up and we will wind down, please. Caller on, let me see, who has been there first 30 minutes, yes. Um, let me, oh, yes. Yes. Marzi Patrick, he came. You are here. Please. You are one of us. I don't know. Marzi Patrick, he came. Please. Go on. Can you hear me? Thank you, Marzi. Good evening. There you Marzi. Go on. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, we are friends all over the world. Um, good evening, Marzi Chinas Samoro. Uh, thank you for coming on board this evening to educate their friends. And uh, I can tell you that um, you have opened a new chapter for Biafra struggle in 2024 by giving our people uh, the right direction to follow. Um, Whatever we have done in the past in the struggle for Biafra restoration, seeking friendship in you know, common places, trying to identify uh, people to support us, we should not regret it. Um, because uh, there is nothing we have done in this struggle that is a waste that it does not or it, it has not favored us does not mean that we have not also learned our lesson so it is important that we take everything in a positive in a positive stride while we move we'll continue to evaluate our positions we'll continue to reevaluate our positions because when the war ended in 1967, uh, our people returned back with their full chest, believing that um, the zoo will uh, make um, a return, can give them the possibility that they seek in Nigeria. That was where we got it wrong. Have we continued? Had our people understood that the war between 1967 to 70 was a war that never ended? 
we wouldn't have been where we are today. And um, if our people had un understood that they needed to put all the structures that are needed for the next generation, we would have had a direction to follow. But IPOB came without any direction, started digging the soil, started laying new foundations, and you cannot expect it to be perfect. No matter the fact that we have a roadmap to our direction, sometimes we can also miss our way, but the most important thing is understanding that we have missed our way and return back and continue this journey following the, the direction that is needed at every point in time. And that is why it's important that we continue to educate our people that the Biafra struggle and the resolution of Biafra is not a free way. It's not an express road. It's not an express road. At every point in time, you must look back and evaluate your position and ask yourself, is the direction I'm taking giving me the kind of result that is required that I'm getting? Because when you cannot make self-evaluation, you are, you, are, you, are, you are meant to end up in doom. And this is where the leadership of IPOB comes in. They do those evaluations and give their friends the direction to follow. Not just one person waking up is in, bed, in his bedroom and making decisions. These are men and women who put their heads together to look at the situation at this moment, also be able to project what the future look like. Just like Mazichi Nasanwori was giving us some, some kind of hint on the political dimension of today as regard to the, uh, to the politics that is playing out globally and especially in the Sahel region that we must take advantage of these politics, we must take advantage of these openings and put ourselves in a position where we can benefit and become part of that struggle for liberation. Because when we look at West Africa today, everybody is struggling for liberation. So it is important that we understand that what we are taking here is a directive. I don't want to go into the issue of, you know, those who have betrayed and those who have, you know, stabbed IPOB in the back. The worst enemy you can have is an in-house enemy. And that is what we've seen. A situation where you have people who we thought were part of the struggle. But their intent and their intention is just to convert this struggle to, to their own financial benefit. And that is the reason we saw uh, Kanonta and his group going to uh, taking the British government to court, not because they wanted to win the case. They were not interested in winning that case. Their focus was on that financial compensation because I have followed that case, both the one they instituted in Kenya. Everything was all about money that they, they want to, they, they were all looking, all the struggle was compensation, financial, con when you look at the, the whole court detail, it was all about money, money, money they are going. So in their own mind, they felt that their brother's right had been infringed and the the compensation that will be paid should be paid into the family they are we are not interested in in many other things they were just struggling to see if they can get a financial uh, compensation and that is where they took it up but they saw it as an opportunity to make money from kenyan government and british government that is not that, that is just the reality 
because they thought that the all those billions and trillions and that will be paid should not be paid to them. So they felt that IPOB coming in, in the picture to bring those cases forward, that no money will be paid into IPOB. So they cannot sit back and watch that it's all about money. It's all about that financial compensation. People should learn to understand because that is their aim, how to make money with the struggle. So for me, it is important that we continue to follow the leadership in, di in their directive because that is the only way forward. Many people have decided to use their emotion, you know, as part of their own daily affair in the struggle for Biafra restoration. But ask yourself, even the Israel you are supporting, that you claim you are supporting, do you see any emotion play in why they are fighting uh, Hamas in Gaza? No, it's not about emotion. Every, even the, the Hamas themselves are not even uh, emotional. Everybody is fighting for their interest. So wherever our interest shift, we must follow. Wherever our interest shift, we must follow. We must have made certain mistakes in the past, but I think that we also must understand that mistakes are acceptable and we must deal with it, face the reality, and follow the tune of events because that is the only way to go. And for me, we must understand that IPOB is an institution that we are building as a people. And an institution means that in the next generation, even if we cannot uh, finish the job, we have already set the structures down for the next generation to continue from where we have stopped. Maze, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. There were, there were Maze, Patrick. We are together in this uh, tedious journey. Kola, I have to, I have to take these two callers. Kola on WhatsApp, you have been here since 40 minutes, patiently waiting. My goodness me, highly incredible why shouldn't i allow you call her or so please go on you're a patient person can you hear me yeah is that me of course you're calling on what's up you have been here since 40 minutes plus please go yeah on. yeah i've been i've been what is it tina do there were to go say gonna get a china answer okay okay Because <laughs> Or some more. Uh, so, so, and the OB mode, the Otona in here, I'd make a level more as a Tinaka, a Tinasa more. Here, I'm going to tell me Peronia or Anya, Anya, I may put a meper, I get a kind of an animal, I may be a meri. Tinaka, Dome, Tinasa more, Dome, Padua, Tina, Jonathan Tina, the Chukuga, Gosio, no, 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 Oh, <laughs> Anya, a target she matomo undo politician na undo behind your cha. Mother the car, mother the car, to become which I got my big. There are a lot of no under the kaya. Who behind the mama? Man, how much has she apata? When I target she, we talk. You know, make up, make up the tarang. How bad her hand is. Bad hand. Yeah, I never made the impact. My God, the mama. 
no mo nyo obo na oga ni ho mu ai no mu mu ai na nda ka ga mu amu e ko ihe atom na na ajo obo ndi gabon o wono tan na hashi wuru nwan ne o wono tan dio e shi ga shi na ya zaga ku ha gwa ko wara ma mu nwan ya ga me nya ala ji jum na jaji aka na ji there wo e kala dre wo there wo de kwara ge there wo maze maze chi na asa o kwe no ihe okuru mhm yes maze ha no mi ihe okuru um but i will answer in english it's not that we are speaking very good english but because we have other biafrans who are not here in able that is the major reason most times when we are speaking on radio biafra we speak but i hope that when biafra will come we will have a central language that we can use in communicating and uh, passing out information the number one question he asks is uh, this the siblings of mazen and the colonel what are we doing to one thing is this we are not saying that the siblings of Mazen and the Kano, if people want to give them something, give to them something. They should not give them. We are not saying that, that they should not do that. But going to do certain things in the name of IPOB, going to take money in the name that it is being given to the IPOB movement, this is the one we are talking about. When IPOB does things, they took it and go and say, do you see what happened? That's why sometimes you see them, they fight for press release. Some press release they're fighting for because they are using it to smooth their own lies. They are lying to people. Sometimes they come pushing you they want a particular press release because, for example, there was a press release we wrote in Enugu, what is happening in Enugu. A lawyer, Jim Michael, he is always fond of that. He will come to defend the politician. But what we are saying is, we are not saying the, the, the politician will do something wrong against us. You cannot close our mouth. Because maybe the politician is giving you money, you are promising him, don't worry, everything, no problem. The same thing things implies to what we are saying, they should stop, that we are not going to tolerate it. Let them do anything with their own names, with their own family. If people give them something, it's their, it's their own. We don't have any issue. But using the name of IPOB, it is not accepted. It is not accepted because they are making caricature of the struggle. They have turned the struggle to become something think. People who have supported this struggle through them feel that this is a calm business. They believe this is a fraudulent movement. That is the perception in the mind of many people in Igbo land and the elite community in Biafra land that this struggle from the eyes of what they are seeing the family of Mazen Namdekan is doing, his siblings, that this is a fraudulent movement. That is a, a, a movement that is being used to cheat our people, defraud our people. Why this is not what the struggle is all about. It is not what the struggle is all about. That is the perception. People call us fraudulent people because of some certain things they have done. And I said it is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. It is unacceptable. And we are not going to let it because it is going to destroy all the effort, all the life, all the things we have done. It is going to destroy it. We are telling them to keep off. That is number one. Number two, you ask about how we will that is the job we are doing that 
to to those who have a clean heart we are we are open we we know those who will come with it's we are not demanding anything from you but we know there is something you have to do to protect our people what we need is things you have to do please see this is a crime spot this is a crime spot this is a bad place put up measures not we don't tell you security move this place out this is where the crimes this struggle have opened our eyes we now understand where the all the criminal spots all scattered in their land and we have governors some of these criminal spots controlled by nigerian securities also that is what people don't understand so Mazi, we are doing a very great sensitization we are trying to Remarket IPOB. This is what I, if there are people who have demarketed this struggle in a negative way, we are trying to position this struggle in a more positive light. Because that our people have seen this struggle, it is something they are using to cheat their own people, kill their own people, because of attitude of a few. And we are saying, no, it is not like that. that is one of the things we want to redirect this struggle from the damage that has been caused on this struggle the damage caused by the american women that have come into this struggle why they have nothing much is that even the leadership very difficult to release specific information to anybody because we don't know I am a hunke, I am a hunke de man. I am a no nyara se, no abo hona adi on the same minute. I am a kwa hiye ne mo, kama o kwa hiye ne me hunke na amani. We don't know who is who until we make sure the house is back in order. That is what we are doing, and I am using this opportunity to say, do not see these people as your enemy. Do not see them as your enemy until somebody do something you are seeing. How do you feel that somebody you are calling your enemy is also supporting you in the struggle? Maybe he's also saying, please don't do it. And you are in Apoyanon every day. And Apoyanon, the person cannot go on the street. The person cannot walk even this in the because you have blackmailed him to the point. He's only swearing for you. He's only now, he is on the mode of swearing i know some people in biafra land every day top people in biafra land if you talk about biafra they will remove their shoes raise their hand and swear upon us they swear against us they swear against mazin nam the kind swear against ipob swear against ipob swear against for even coming in contact who did it with their support, with their life, risk of their position, and you blackmail them. Many of them are not happy. And I got my hammer. And finally, my brother, at this early stage, our diplomatic moves, we can never make it open. But bear in mind that the, the people, the, all the people, every diplomatic option the ipob leadership is open and have opened many channels for this movement we do not hope on anybody but our options are open we are making moves we, as long as you are a nation i want everybody to understand as long as you are a nation we are taking a drastic step on our diplomatic moves we have a genuine case that we can present and the world will listen to us but it is how do we handle it it's not messages are not being diplomatic issues are not discussed on social media no country will discuss that is the reason why i want to make this thing clear because it's on a diplomatic issue everybody saw how the american anthony um, uh, blinken arrived in nigeria he came to kevet kevet to Cote d'Ivoire. he went to chair imagine 
blink going to support Côte d'Ivoire on their march, going to support them, deceptive people that is coming to Côte d'Ivoire and they watch their march and give them support. He went to there, he went to Cape Verde. From Cape Verde, he went to Côte d'Ivoire. He flew from Côte d'Ivoire to Lagos. From Lagos, he moved to Angola. Ask yourself, what is this thing that he came and discussed just in a few hours and he moved? In a few hours, he moved. Don't you ask yourself, he would have done them on telephone. Nah, anyone. No, that is to show you how critical diplomatic moves are. What you hear on the newspaper is just a merry talk for the that discussion he came to talk with Tinubu. I bet you maybe inside Tinubu bedroom they will discuss it. Where no camera, no sound this thing will ever hear what they discuss. Now, when he left, the same, he left Nigeria, he left Côte d'Ivoire to Nigeria, Tony Blink, Alassane Ouattara, show, to Paris. He met Tunubu today, finished, immediately he left Nigeria, few hours, Tunubu, bim, to Paris. Do you think that Tunubu wouldn't have stayed in Lagos and call uh, Emmanuel Macron and tell him this is what we said? No. That is to show you how delicate words, because people, whatever they are discussing, they make sure that if that information goes up from there, you know it's to me who that leave the information. That is how it is being done. Trusted people. He came out and told you, ask yourself, he came out and said, we are giving $45 million for Nigeria to fight for um, uh, terrorists and the violence and other countries in West Africa. $45 million some northerners can pocket, Minister of um, Petroleum can pocket in one transaction. $45 million is what these people came all the way from America to dash the whole West Africa with Nigeria. Isn't that a joke? Sometimes the communication in diplomacy is can never be made open. It's a deceptive message. When they say A, look beyond A. There is something behind. That is why you see them very angry for people in the Sahel. When they talk to Goethe, the Malian president, when Macron spoke to him, Macron was mad against him because what he told Macron, what Macron told him in secret, he made it open. As Mali is driving them, drove them away, Macron found out, you know, because arrogancy, they thought those people can never stand up. He told, he made a contact with him. The man said it openly. He said, Macron told him, okay, we know we don't want a problem. We want everything to, if you want us to recognize you from now onward, um, 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 uh, um, I will give you three people, the minister of finance, one prime minister, the one who will be the prime minister, and I think uh, the defense, the minister for defense. So my uh, going to ask him, if you give me these three positions, you will select for me who will be the prime minister. You will select for me who will be the finance minister. And they select for defense. Then what did the Malian people get? What did the Malian people get? Macron is very upset that Goethe said this thing on the air. Also, an ambassador, I don't need to say Goethe didn't say it on air, so I don't have to say it also, because an ambassador of one of these powerful people also you know that is dragging Africa, also called Goethe and told him, okay, to recognize you and work with you, we will, you will, we will give you somebody who will be the finance minister and who will be the um, prime minister. The ambassador of that country met him, gave him the offer. That is, if you connect these things, you can understand when Peter B was lamenting that how can you go to people's country? They are giving you condition of what they have to do. You must do for them before they become in diplomacy. Like you see, Tinubu, Tinubu have sold Nigeria and sold it in there. If you see what France have done in in Sahel and many African countries. 
do you expect that France come to Nigeria, they will do a, be a better person? Because they are losing, they call Mali, they tell Malians, you know from today we are not going to deal with you people as a human being. He, as they are saying those things, people are getting more angry. So before you were not dealing with them like humans, you were dealing with them like animals. Tinubu Kanamuamo, he have fallen into their demands, and the British government will use the northern elders. They will even coup is possible in Nigeria. Don't underestimate it. It is the battlefield. The Gulf of Guinea is the destination. In diplomacy, at this point, IPOB will be very careful. We will not speak anyhow. We won't, we won't even disclose who our partner is. Because we know all they are fighting, the heart of the struggle, is who will control the Gulf of Guinea. That is why you see America came Go to Angola, Nigeria, Cape Verde, and Cote d'Ivoire. These are the four points of the Gulf of Guinea. These are the points that slaves were trained. If you hear about the slave trade, these are the four cardinal points of the Gulf of Guinea that was used during the slave trade. It's a very important, big trading route. And they, at this particular moment, as the wind is blowing towards that side, you have to be very careful. Nobody is expected to come on air and tell us, go to Gabon. We will not hear you. Tell us, go to this. No, we will not hear. We already understand the strategy. We will imply the strategy. And that's why we want most of our people to come. Because there are people we have identified in certain places that we do some shooting for us. Some we press some buttons. Some we open some doors. We need every one of them. We know they need Biafra. And we also need them. Irrespective of our differences, this is the time. To show you nothing is in this Nigeria for anybody. You people have seen the crypto crying. You people saw that crypto do kill our people because of Tinubu. Today he's crying and saying, talking rubbish on social media. That is to show you, do not allow people to use you to step on. Diplomacy is different from church games. Diplomacy is different from family games. Diplomacy is different from we hear the MNAZ no law. And it is different from all these social media bracatabra you see people doing to make you feel happy. We are into a serious business. There are countries, don't call any country here. Mazichine, if people come on the radio and talk about this country, we go, you up. It's good to talk, but talk sensibly. Don't remind us, don't give clue, don't give us anything. The leadership knows where they are going. You cannot get everybody. You can even use the people you don't know. Besides, the people who have even made moves on this things, if they tell you who they are, you will be even shocked. They don't have your Christian faith. They don't have... It is the least expected. The hands holding us is bigger than what you are looking at. It's bigger than Nigeria. The only thing, now Tinubu is going the, back, the side of France. British feel jittery. How can they talk to their friends? The media, they drop, the BBC, where we have woke their eyes that they can't even speak Igbo again. How can they come to us? They don't know. And they know any pimp, we put them where they deserve. Our place is a free ground. We are ready to do business with anybody. With the Americans, we are ready to do business. With the Russians, we are ready to do business. With China, we are ready to do business. We are going to give any country that supports us equal role to play. If you don't support us, how do you think? Time has passed when they will take our things by force. We are marching for freedom. And it is Biafra or death. They will manage it later. There we Lastly, I have a caller that has been waiting for six minutes. Caller on signal. Please, you are the last caller. I will not take any other call apart from you that have been waiting. Call on signal. Please go on, make your point. You are the last caller. Korage, the Korage, Maze. Maze, I am happy to get to you this evening because in the past I've been trying to reach you and I don't know why it's not going. And uh, my voice is echoing. I don't know if it's how it is. No, it's not from here. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> Go on, your voice is crystal clear. I don't know. 
Mazi, go on, go on. Mazi, watch it. Mazi, watch it. Jonathan. I said uh, that uh, in when I was like a child, you know, we eat, you know, childish food. And now that we have grown up, this um, um, message is coming. That's why how, you know, how strong it, it is. I think that is what we need presently you now. As if I go on, there are a few things I will want to point out. There are like questions because in my time in these struggles, I've learned how to follow. Even on the issues that I do not understand, I kept quiet to time, I, I will get to understand. Because most of the posts I do see in um, tweets from Mazi Chinasawuru, sometimes I get to, you know, try to think about it. But I've learned in the things that I don't understand, I must hold on to. Because before now, there was nobody directing. And now there are people, like, people that are directing. And with what we have, you know, all come together to achieve. I don't want to ask, neither do I want to question all I need is just to hold on. These um, issues of uh, social media, you find that uh, we should learn how to shake up with what we have heard today. There are so many people out there, you know, would I call them social media content destroy destroyers or something? They have found out that it is... You say about Biafra, you get likes, you get shares and all of those things. You have come to cash out. So there are, we should devise means to shake them off because I found out that we, we should pay more attention on the things that is holding us down. These things really matters because now that we have started observing them from the, the exposure, exposure from here, you think if we have been doing these things in the past, you know, sometimes most of our enemies, they even laugh at us, most of our things, the things we do. So we should come up with means which we will be able to, like me, I found out on how to, you know, shares and uh, follows and all of those things. And another thing which I want to play with the leadership is this area of social media, internet. Formerly, we used to have one of our brothers come to teach on how to be safe, on how to, you know, know when people are monitoring you, on how to, you know, dodge from all these uh, means which the DSS and the rest of them used to you know, trace us. Those kind of expedition, expedition needs to come back. Then, secondly, I want to tell the whole world that we are tired. The Nigerian states, the everything about this very country is squeezing the lives out of us. And there is no way we can go back. We we did not fall, neither do we deter we do not deter ourselves from going forward forward when we were ignorant. Is it today that we have known? What can we do with all of this information and all of this exposition? So I'm telling them that even if they killed all every one of us, the last blood drop of us can never stop. Nigeria is an hellish place. I guess they should know. And that should rank into their ears that there is no way and there's no way to deter us from you know, marching towards this freedom. Then another thing is that, why is it that, it's just like in the position where we are today, you know, you see things that is happening to us, and I found out that if it's not for this very agitation, I'm telling you that every woman and every of our everything that we own, everything that we think that is related to us would have gone hellwire and will be a confused people. The Nigerian state is doing the one they are doing presently, is because they, 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 they see that IPOB is there. And I'm still bringing it to other uh, tribes. If you watch presently now, they have conquered everybody. And it seems like it is we that is in longer head with everything that they want to achieve. Our people should be able to be mindful and in what they engage into. And you, this easy conclusion of everything without giving it a thought, without giving it a, a proper uh, scrutiny, is very, very bad. Look at today now. Do you know that if we are people that is very intelligent in everything that comes our way, most of the alliance that, that's why they come with devils of alternative. They would have been considering us. 
even in difficulties, even in evil, you can as well go and come out from it if you are very strategic. You see that they even go back to the French. Is, the French is here. They want to deal with the the, the Fulanis. The Americans are here. They want to deal with the Fulani. Why? It's because we have made ourselves so open that even people that want to come to help us are afraid. So, man, there are so many things I have in mind to, to say, you know, there it is... There were, you said, you said you may God bless everyone of us. There were, you too. Thank you, sir. There were, thank you very much. Mazi Chena Samura, I think uh, this is where you have to go into your closing remark and announcement, if there is any, because we are getting closer to five hours. Mazi, please go on, please, to your closing remarks. Mazi, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, um, I think I have said enough. I will not have much on closing remarks but i just want to point one or two things and it can be considered as my closing remark um their friends and all the lovers of freedom um the other time the paypal account to support the biafran struggle and the esn was uh, was um <clears throat> linked up in our website and some people could not be able to make the payment Please, I'm asking every one of you, we will update you just that the family unit that was asked to open the PayPal account, there were some informations they did not provide to PayPal. That was why the payment, and I think they have been given the information. So as soon as they complete that information, then the link, the, the support link will be back on that place. And also, we are creating also other links, um, no need to mention them, but I, the, the moment we put them in the links, many different links or different ways people can be able to support ESN. But while we are waiting to put all those things in order, we also encourage, there are many ways to support this struggle. We have IPOB families worldwide. In many countries we have the leadership inquiry number in case you don't want you want to give it directly to IPOB in each country we don't need you to send it to the leadership in each country where you are you say you have something to support for this struggle get in touch with the coordinator there get in touch with the IPOB leadership get in touch with any of these people on the radio program they will definitely get you to the right link and you can support this struggle is not something that when you support once you back down some of us has been in support of this program you know one thing that's very funny that i don't know if there is anybody who joined this struggle from 2015 2014 13 let me say the time I started, 2013, I will say I joined IPOB. From 2013, there are, I doubt if there are people who joined IPOB at that time, who ever in their dream, imagination, think they are coming to something or a movement that they are going to make money from. I doubt there is nobody. Those who join IPOB from 2013, 14, 15, people that were in this struggle, they came to put their money to support for the freedom of the Afra. It is during the COVID, those COVID people, the moment Mazen Landekano appeared, went to America, the COVID people, that is when you see people who have jumped into the struggle to come to make money. Those who have never in their life see $10,000 in their account, see $5,000 of their own, they now jump into the struggle. They start now coming, they found the struggle as something to make money. They start to bastardize the, the principle and ethics of IPOD. At 
at least for me and many of my comrades that I have met, none of them cannot be able to take care of themselves. Nobody. And I am proud to say it. For IPOB leadership, every one of us has our own responsibility. I could remember when Uche Mefong was in this struggle. They hold my hand and the car for some time. He could not even do anything unless he was being paid before he can offer services. But this IPO leadership have run this struggle. Whether we have or we don't have, nobody, nobody, nobody cares our welfare. We put and do our best to keep this struggle alive. Nobody is being paid. We don't even have the money to, to sustain, to handle the basic things we want to do. Take less of to get people paid. But we are determined because we didn't come that we will be paid. We came that we will put our money and get our freedom. And some stupid people came into the struggle. It is all about money, 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 money. They hold Martin and they can what are shouting everywhere. Money, 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 money. And I'm giving this warning. You see, also this is the warning to, to, to the siblings of Mazen and the Kano. I saw the flyer you people are flying everywhere, clinching us and all they sell to the but you see these flyers. If you people push me to the wall, I will detailed I will detailed stories about you people, what you have done against this struggle. And I will put it in the public. I will put them in the public. Because the rubbish must stop. This rubbish of using the name of IPOD must stop. Also, I have heard they started that I know IPOD again. The same IPOD they have used and stole money. The same IPOD they have used organized fundraising. The same IPOD ESN they have used to steal money, to make fundraising, to con the people now. For the fact they cannot come the, with the name of IPOB, some of them have, they're not trying to promote their own movement. This is the one, no more IPOB. It is this thing because now our people have found out. They say, really? So this IPOB is really controlled by the leadership. These people were, you know, life never lasts. And I'm happy our people have found out, oh, 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 you mean, hey, 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 these guys, we were giving them money, we are thinking they are, we don't know this, no one, I no wonder. Now, they can't steal with the name of IPOB again, and the ESN, they are now promoting a new name for them. Thinking that when they promote this new name, you know what they are waiting for, so that tomorrow, just let everybody listen very well, that is what will happen. Tomorrow, thank God that they are coming out. They tell you, no IPOB to the, uh, the Fulani people. IPOB, ESN is not fighting the Fulani people. We are fighting the Fulani militia and the Fulani terrorist group. The most, one of the most dangerous terrorist group globally in the world. They are the fourth most dangerous. They are known for killing, pillage, land destruction, rape, and everything. These are the people we are fighting. There are many good Fulanese now. There are educated Fulanese. Fulanese are not only in Nigeria. Most of them are in other countries. You meet them. But these ones that they are using, they are instrument of war. These are the people we are fighting. These are the people we are fighting. And suddenly somebody tell you that Fulani, we are not fighting the Fulanese. The Fulani as a people, Fulani as individuals, we don't have any problem to them, with them. But the Fulani has men, the Mali, those ones in the bushes, who are leaving houses and camp in the bushes, raping and killing our people, these are the people we are after. So I want everybody to know that they are now running away Trying to discredit IPOB they have used. These are to show you the job they were sent to do. Some of them tell you now, if you see ESN office anywhere, you see them, kill them. I'm one of them. 
you see the ESM member anywhere it is banned. I will take it. Let us hear those kind of words. In fact, he said, you have given us a signal and the order will be passed. You get them no mercy. Because 2024, we must be focused and make sure that our people are put in order to be focused so that when it comes politically, people will grab it and keep. It comes security wise, there are people who will hold it. Religious wise, people will wage. You come, border side, we have people to wage and people who will continue to evangelize. And you come to finance and fund, our people must fund the struggle. I will not tell you they have never supported this struggle from what I have known. They have. And we do not want somebody to take issues personally like one of our brother have said here the struggle we have learned a lot all we have learned all this time have made us strong if we know the truth we can face our problem you can work very we want our people to be conscious of what we are doing and I will continue to make sure you continue to keep aside those who were expelled from this struggle, they are expelled. There is something different between those suspended. There are different those expelled, they are expelled. Let me give you people one of the dangers. Before IPOB expels somebody, before IPOB expel you, I'm telling you, there is no mistake in that. Everybody knew about this young man, Mazen Nandekano, expelled in May. I think earlier in May. He was part of an IPOB. May 2021. At the early stage, 2021. He was part of IPOB. He indulged in horrible things. He indulged himself in horrible things, which I am not going to say on air, on no circumstances. Now, Mazen Nandekano, <coughs> the guy fraudulently defrauded IPOD, did horrible things, people were killed. He was working with the Nigerian SAS team. When you have problem with him, he will say that him, they will attack, they will kill that particular lion heart. There were certain things that happened that Martin Nandekano noticed it, the evidence was there. You send people for something, <coughs> give it to them, it will them with the Nigerian security, and he, 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 he picked them down. After with all that horrible ones, Mazen Namdekano came on air and dismissed him. When Mazen Namdekano dismissed him, he was dismissed. He now start talking, rubbing, start this thing. He immediately arrested Mazen Namdekano. I will not need to call the name of the lawyer. But one of these lawyers that went to see Mazen Namdekano called me. And told me, you see this guy, Mazen Namdekano, expelled. Um, I want you to call him back to the Biafran struggle. He want to come back. You know, Mazen Namdekano is now. We want to bring the guy. I told him, I am not the one that expelled that guy from IPU, and I am not going to bring him back into what we are doing. He's being expelled. But if Mazen Namdekano comes out. Even if Mazen Nandekano, he is just in detention. It's not more than three months. He's inside detention. We are trying to find his soul. How to save this man? And you are coming to tell me to bring somebody Mazen Nandekano expelled from IPO. You want me to return him back? I told him, I cannot do it. And I will not do it because I am not the one that expelled him. And even though I know things he did, why only you expelled him? I did not give him the opportunity. He took my number 
and get the guy. I told me the guy will contact me. I said, please, let him not contact me. I don't want anything to do with him. When I say like this, that guy turned against me. He start to everywhere. He start to mobilize many IPOB members to the autopilot. And if anybody he see, he told them, leave these people. He start to mobilize people for autopilot. They now become a team of criminal group. When they hit money in the East, they go to Lagos to spend the money, to squash the money. Most of them, you see, after collecting ransom, collecting money from the distance, the next thing they are night boss in Lagos, they go and flex a nightclub and all this thing. They are flexing. It is the same, the same such people he's working with. And the same people they are drinking in a bar for him. They have sold him already because he's already is the same. If anybody who know him ask him or gay man that you are following, the sass guy he introduce you. You are drinking at a um Otofe joint. The guy they call Otofe, one of their group. What they did is that they get money, send some to Lagos to open their parlor. When they collect money, they go Lagos, flex with women, they come back and continue to commit crime. Is it not where they caught him? Is it not where they caught him in Lagos? And they start shouting, Chinas, I want you, Chinas, I want you, I'm proud to start with you, Chinas, I want you, Chinas, I want you, all the crimes you committed in Jaffa land will, will swallow all of you. When you people were committing the crimes you are committing in Jaffa land, follow you in criminal because you think you can destroy the leadership of IPO. You, you think by doing those things you destroy this movement. today. All are going down. Social media. It's a matter of time. Every one of them that have shared the blood of our people, collected ransom from them, took their cars, caught their cars, raped our daughters, killed our brothers. Why collecting ransom? Allah therefore will swallow all of you. Why you are doing it to tarnish the image of Mazen and the Kano? Tarnish the image of IPOB and ESN to say that IPOB have scattered nothing. Those kind of small kids, um, you just said, it's your own word that will spoil. Another person's word will not spoil. Because you have joined criminality, your acts are now open. Your word will destroy. You have used the name of IPOB, commit crime. You have used the name of IPOB, ESN, raise fundraising, talk all kind of rubbish. Now you want IPOB to destroy. IPOB will never destroy. It is you that will destroy. IPOB remains. No, you are the only one. The world, your world will destroy. We will achieve our dreams and aspirations. And to this, I will stop here. And I know there is a need for me to be coming on there to always keep our people embraced with the information so that they will not go away from what is happening so that it will make them to keep them focused a lot of things you know we have a lot of things in our hand the Afro land is very big with complicated issues with things with things happening around you people must always forgive me when i don't come on air it is not intentional but this one was intentional because we were having a lot of things we have in our hand we said okay let us run them up before i come on air I have to come on air to continue because there are many topics that I did not touch today, which I would like to talk, to take those topics in our next broadcast, the need for us to understand the regional politics surrounding the Afghan restoration. Why we should all be conscious of what we are doing, what we are saying, IPOB coordinators in African countries, everybody must rise up. Be very, very strategic. 
Let me tell you something. Don't also rush into conversation. It might be a trap. Ask for the advice of the leadership. There are people who are friendly. There are people who are not friendly. There are people who will get information from us. They will use it to sell for exchange for something with Nigerian government. Like Kenya did. They strike a deal. Countries rock deals with specific informations. You saw what happened in Ethiopia. How are they? Strike a deal with the Somaliland for a 20 kilometer rail line in exchange for independence, in exchange for share in Ethiopia airline. Regional politics is very, very critical. And if you don't play your chase very well, you will be struck out and you will become a laughing stock. May Chuko Ikadiyama bless every one of us who have spent all their time to listen to me this evening. And I say, continue to support the restoration of Biafra. Continue to pray for the freedom of Mazen Nandekano. Continue to pray for all of us at the end. We shall all rejoice. For Biafra is what we have come to restore, and in Biafra we shall all live. Once again, my name is Mazi Chinasawaru. Mazi Chinasawaru served the indigenous people of Biafra as a member of the Directory of State, Katifo no Muchineke. There woman say, there war. We have come to the end of today's program. Do not forget that this is where we worship. And Biafra is our religion, which has no addition. Thank you for listening. From me, Maaz Jonathan Chinidu, together with Maaz Chinasamoru, it is simply good evening.